Commonwealth of 75 project um, has been set up really uh, as it sounds to celebrate the Commonwealth and to celebrate the 75th anniversary of the founding of the Commonwealth. Uh, so we're in that year now. So it stretches from, I understand, November 23 to November 24. And it was set up by um, heads of the Commonwealth nations and of course His Majesty King Charles III. That's a really good question, you know, I wonder myself. Uh, but we were contacted by um, a representative from St James's House uh, on behalf of, of uh, the committee that's um, managing the project and also on behalf of the Royal Household. Uh, we were invited to be part of the project. We were invited initially to take part in the, in the celebrations throughout the year and to attend the, the official launch of the commemorative book that's being produced, which will be taking place in the autumn in Westminster Abbey. Uh, and when we were in initial discussions about being involved, um, the project seemed really exciting. The number of countries that were involved, all of the Commonwealth nations and the number of organizations that might be involved. And an opportunity then presented itself to become a patron of the Commonwealth at 75 project. Uh, so that was something that um, I discussed with the board and we felt that it would be good to support the project, but also um, raise the profile of, of Burton Shaw and the Burton Shaw group even further amongst the Commonwealth nations and also uh, throughout the rest of Britain. I think taking part in the Commonwealth at 75 is an important step for us. It's recognition of how the Commonwealth countries support one another, uh, unite one another, um, how we can learn from one another for example. So I've already on behalf of the Burton Shaw group offered um, that Burton Shaw would be willing to go to other Commonwealth countries to teach some of the things that we know about working with young people with severe learning disability and with autism to share our knowledge, to share our, our, our expertise. But similarly, I think there's an opportunity for us to learn from some of the other nations of the Commonwealth, what they do, uh, what kind of services they have, so that we can learn together and support, to support each other. And I think the whole concept of the Commonwealth, that the, the term that's often used is the family of nations. Um, and it's a supportive group and that's what it's meant to be so that we can learn from one another, support one another. And those, those nations within the Commonwealth that are perhaps a little bit wealthier, a little bit more advanced or developed than the others to support them um, coming forward. So from a point of view of the services that we provide, children's services really, for young people with special education needs and disability. What I would want to see is the kind of services we're able to provide being replicated in some of the Commonwealth countries that have yet to start delivering those kind of services so that children in other parts of the Commonwealth have access to the same quality of services as children here in England. When we were approached to take part in the Commonwealth of 75 um, project, uh, we were told that there was going to be a commemorative, what they call a coffee table book, and my understanding of that is that it's like a big book, a big glossy book. Um, there's going to be one of these published to commemorate the celebrations for, for the, the full year of celebrations, really. Um, we are going to be featured in that. My understanding is that a number of uh, organisations were approached in different Commonwealth countries uh, to see if they were interested in, in being involved in that. But it means that if, if you are... Uh, the chosen organization or company from one country, there won't be any other organizations from that country represented. Um, there'll be a small selection of, of companies and, and organizations featured. And generally they'll be chosen because they're a leader in their field. And Burton Shaw has been chosen because we're a leader in the field of services for young people with learning disability and autism.